Hello people, it's now our Switchy here again. Just a quick little video here. Last few days I thought I had this little wooden cabinet kicking around the house. It's about about three foot high. About 18 inches deep, 18 inches wide. So I thought it was just like kicking around in one of the spare page and wasn't really using it for anything. So I thought oh, I might make a little like a sort of little uh, tablet and phone sort of USB charging station out of it. So what I did, got a got a multi-way extension strip, three-way three-way extension lead. Bought that in Lidl's a few weeks ago. So screwed that on the back. Made machined a couple of holes in the back and put the various cables and that through so I've got, got the extension lead plugged in there that screws to the back, it's got on, got an on off switch there so I've got three three adapters plugged in there, I've got a, a mains lead for my digital camera charger there uh, that's, a, that's a standard 5 volt USB charger there that's, that came with my JBL uh, wireless Bluetooth speaker, but it's got 2.3 amp output, so it can be used for charging the speaker or charging tablet, charging phones, anything like that. I've got a Samsung charger there for my phone. Put the leads through the little holes I made there. So I've got my tablet on the charge there. That's that. That's that's all. That's fully charged now. Got digital camera battery there I've been charging up a little stand there for phones and tablets see the leads come through the hole in the back there like I've got so I've got a couple of USB charging leads there for the mains charger and a couple of weeks ago I went to Lidl's I probably know I'm always buying stuff in Lidl's so it's all these little it's all these little charming I've got several that like, USB chargers and plug-in chargers, phone chargers, I've got half a dozen or so, but I just saw these ones, USB wall plug, it's got, uh, oh, we got focus, output volt, 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 volt maximum 2.4 amps per socket, total max 4.2 amps, I thought I'd be just a handy, like an extra one, I could plug it in there for one, plug it into me a uh, little charging station for one, extra socket, because I've got Two or three phones, and it's got two or three. It's got two USB sockets on the bottom. So I thought oh, that'd be handy. So I plugged that. Went to plug that in into the, one of the sockets this morning. And, oh, not not charging my phone. So oh, what's wrong with that? So anyway, I knew all the sockets were working anyway. So I, I plugged it. I plugged it into another socket in the house. And no, still no. No indicators, little indicator light just there. No low light, no LED coming on. So, so I plugged into a second socket to try. Tried two different USB charging cables. I know they're all good, but I've charged, tried two or three different charging cables. Tried on two different devices, nothing, complete, absolutely completely dead. So, so I've got a test, test lead and plugged in there, USB test lead, just with an open plug on the end. No voltage on the meter, absolutely zero, nothing at all. No voltage, no current, no nothing. So, I knew for Lidl's because I don't normally have any trouble with their stuff. So, I've got the receipt anyway, it's only three ninety nine. it wasn't too bad. So, I should be taking that back, either today or tomorrow. They probably won't have one the same because I've had it about mm, four or five weeks. Uh, probably just have to get a refund on that and get something else or wait till they get them in again or whatever. But, Anyway, it's unusual for Lidl's because I very rarely have any trouble there. Their electrical products, most of them are pretty good quality, but unusual for that not to work at all. So, at least to say they got all got they all got three year warranty on them anyway. So I'll take that back and get a refund or change for something else. So we'll see you on the next one, people. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Now that's Richie, and we'll see you on the next one. See you later.